Welcome to the course Excelling with Mathematical Modeling. Today we will be discussing about carbon dating. So what is this carbon dating? Radioactive dating or carbon dating or carbon 14 dating, it is a scientific method that can actually determine the age of a organic material or any fossil as old as approximately 60,000 years. Now it was first developed by Williard Libby in late 1940s at the University of Chicago and the technique is based on the decay of carbon-14 isotope. And he also won Nobel Prize later on because of this uh, discovery. So what is the technique? So what happens is that every, every living uh, being or every living thing is uh, made of carbon. So, if you look at the video, so this plant they grab this CO2 from the outside and use it to form some complex molecules. The animals eat the plants and then they get the carbon from there. But there are more than one form of carbon. So, a typical carbon atom will consist of uh, six protons and six neutrons. We call them carbon-14, uh, carbon-12. Now, high above the atmosphere, this cosmic rays, they hit this nitrogen atom and create a carbon which consists of six protons but eight neutrons. We call this carbon-14. Now, both carbon-12 and carbon-14 they behave alike, but there is one attribute that separates this carbon-14 from carbon-12. Carbon-14 is unstable. And when a person dies or when uh, an animal dies, this carbon-14, it disintegrates. And it takes approximately 5730 years to reduce this carbon-14 to half of its size and we call it the half-life of carbon-14. So after 5730, it reduced to half and then again another 5730, it becomes one-fourth and then it becomes one-eighth. So scientists use this information to calculate this approximate age of the fossil or of uh, animal, plant, trees that absorbs this carbon-14. So let us see that how we can use this mathematical modeling to find the approximate age of a fossil or of a relic uh, that suddenly the archaeologists discover. So to start with, let us say an archaeological sample has been found. has been found and whose age needs to be determined. So we consider let A t is the amount of carbon-14 present in the sample at time t. So please remember this carbon-14 when the thing is living, there is no problem. But when that thing is dead, then this carbon-14 starts disintegrating or leave the uh, body. So the differential equation which will follow this will be given by dA dt is equal to some lambda times A and we call it a radioactive decay law. Now this is quite easy to uh, solve. So you separate the variables minus lambda dt, you integrate both sides. This will 
ln a minus lambda t plus some constant and let us take it as ln a 0. So, we will get ln a by ln a 0 sorry ln a minus ln a 0 and this is equal to minus lambda t which is a by a 0 ln equal to minus lambda t which implies a equal to a 0 e to the power minus lambda t. So, this you can write as a t. So, a t gives you the amount of carbon 14 present in the sample at any time t and this a 0 is the initial value. So, we can say a 0 is a 0 which is the amount of C 14 present in the sample when it was discovered. Now, say if we want to calculate what is the rate of disintegration. So, we have to find this d a d t, say we name it as m t and we get, so since the rate is reducing, we put a negative sign, uh, we get something like a 0 lambda e to the power minus lambda t. So, if you want to find m 0, it is a 0 lambda and the ratio m t by m 0 will give you e to the power minus lambda t. From here, you can calculate this value of t is equal to 1 by lambda ln m 0 by m t. So, m 0 is the original rate of disintegration. at time t equal to 0 and t gives the age of the sample provided you can measure this m 0 and this m t. The same can be told from here also that from here we can get this a t by a 0 which is equal to to the power minus lambda t and then from here also t you can calculate ln a t by a 0. So, you can calculate the approximate uh, age of the given sample either using this or using this provided which Im information is available to you. Now, let us quickly define what is half life. So, half life is the amount of time required by the disintegrating or decreasing substance to reduce to half. So, we have the equation a t equal to a 0 e to the power minus lambda t. So, where your a 0 is the amount of carbon 14 that was present in the sample when it was discovered. So, what happens when this reduced to half? So, your a t becomes a 0 by 2 and time say we represent at tau. So, this becomes a 0 by 2, this becomes a 0 e to the power minus lambda tau where tau is your half life. So, this will give e to the power lambda tau equal to ln 2 and sorry dot e to the power lambda tau equal to ln 2 
and your tau is equal to 1 by lambda ln 2. So, this gives the formula for half life. Now, let us take an example that how uh, we calculate the age of a fossil or a sample or an archaeological sample. So, an example say a fossil is found that has 20 percent C14 compared to the living sample. So, how old is the fossil? And it is given half life of carbon 14 is 5730 years. So, you have the formula which is a t is equal to a 0 e to the power minus lambda t and it is told that you have 20 percent of the carbon 14 present compared to the living sample. So, basically this ratio is going to be 20 by 100 or 0 0.2 equal to e to the power minus lambda t. So, 0 0.2 is 1 by 5. So, e to the power lambda t is 5 and this gives us lambda t equal to ln 5 and so your t is ln 5 divided by lambda. Now, we name it as number 1 and also the half life tau is given by ln 2 divided by lambda from this particular form. So, from this and this we eliminate this lambda and you get t equal to. So, I just get lambda equal to ln by t. So, this t will be equal to tau ln 5 by ln 2. And if you substitute all these values, this is 5730 multiplied by ln 5, which is 1.6094 divided by ln 2. 0 0.6931 and after simplification it will approximately give 13305 years. So, that the age of the fossil is approximately found to be uh, 13305 years old. So, that is how your the mathematical model for this carbon dating works. We now look into another example say an archaeologist digs up a human skull at a dig site. The age of the skull is 11460 years. So, we have to find what is the concentration of this carbon 14 uh, of its initial uh, condition. So, if the concentration of carbon 14 of its initial concentration be x. Then what is the value of x? So, our 
governing equation is a t is equal to a 0 e to the power minus lambda t, where your a 0 is the amount of C 14 present in the skull when it was discovered. So, we take log on both sides. So, you will get e to the power minus lambda t is equal to a t divided by a 0 and this will imply minus lambda t is equal to ln a t by a 0 and this implies t is equal to 1 by lambda ln a t by a 0. Now, I have to get an expression for this uh, lambda uh, in terms of the half life. So, what is this half life? It is the amount which reduces to half of its size and we have the time tau. So, tau is the half life in which this initial con concentration reduces to half of its size and this will give me this and this will cancel e to the power lambda tau equal to 2 which will give lambda tau equal to L m 2 and which will give lambda equal to L n 2 pi. So, I will put this value of lambda here. So, we have from here e to the power minus lambda t that is equal to a t by a 0 and this value is the concentration x percentage and hence this will be x divided by 100 and I have to calculate this value of uh, x. So, therefore, the value of x is 100 multiplied by e to the power minus in place of lambda I will put l n 2 divided by tau and multiplied by the time and that time is 11460 years. So, the value of x is 100 multiplied by e to the power minus l n 2 divided by tau which is 5730 half life multiplied by the years which is 11460. And if you simplify this, this will be 100 into e to the power minus 1.386 and this is approximately equal to 0 0.2500 and which gives your answer to be 25 percent. So, the concentration of uh, the carbon 14 to its initial concentration is 25 percent. We next move to another example, a museum. Is testing the authenticity of a Leonardo da Vinci manuscript, which is supposed to exist between this period.
So this the museum send a paper sample to a lab in 2022 and learned that it has 97.4 percent of its initial carbon 14 concentration. So the question is, is the manuscript authentic? So the museum got a manuscript uh, claimed to be the uh, by Leonardo da Vinci and they spent the paper for this testing and learned that 97.4 percent uh, of its initial carbon 14 concentration and they want to check that whether the, the authenticity of this manuscript. So we have the governing equation A t is equal to A 0 e to the power minus lambda t, where your a0 and sometimes denoted by a0, it is the amount of carbon-14 present in the sample when it was discovered. And A t is the amount of C 14 present in the sample at time t. Now, here this lambda is the rate of the decay. So, we calculate an expression for half-life which is the amount of time required by the decreasing substance to reduce to half. So, I have a t equal to a 0 e to the power minus lambda t. This will be reduced to half at some time tau. And I have e to the power lambda tau equal to 2. This will give me lambda tau equal to ln 2 and this will give me lambda equal to ln 2 by tau. And half life of uh, C 14 is 5730 years. So, we can get the value of lambda. Now, from the governing equation, we have A t equal to A 0 e to the power minus lambda t. This will give e to the power minus lambda t is equal to a t by a 0. And we get this value to be 97.4 percent. So, I divide by 100 and this will give me 0 0.974. So, this will imply minus lambda t equal to ln 0 0.974 and this will give minus the t equal to minus 1 by lambda ln 0 0.974. If you substitute, it is minus 1 by. So, from here, the value of lambda is tau divided by ln 2 
and ln 0 0.974. So you get minus 5730 divided by ln 2 is 0 0.693 and ln 0.974 will be given by minus 0 0.02 634 and this value is approximately equal to 280 years and that is the age of the paper. So this paper uh, is made so that it was went to the lab for the lab test in 2022 and if the 218 years if I subtract so I get this is equal to 180. Zero 0.4. So, this does not fall in this period and hence the conclusion is that the manuscript uh, that is claimed to be of Leonardo da Vinci's is not authentic. So, that is how you test a sample and check the authenticity of a relic or uh, a fossil or a bone like that. Let us take another example, say this shroud of Turin. So the problem is that the British Museum was authorized in 1988 by the Vatican to find the approximate date of this relic known as Shroud of Turin. So if you can see this figure, so it is believed that when Jesus Christ was crucified, this was the only cloth that covers his body. And there is a mysterious image that has appeared on that cloth. So that is why uh, it is quite uh, important and the Vatican uh, wants to find uh, what is the approximate age of that cloth. And the information they have given that the British Museum, the reports confirm that the cloth fiber contains 92 percent and 93 percent of their original carbon 14. So, what will be the approximate age of this shroud of Turin? So, that was the uh, challenge that was uh, placed before them and they use this method of carbon dating. So, if we do that, so we have this half life lambda is equal to 1 by tau ln 2. So, if I put the value of half life of carbon 14, it is 5730, and this is approximately will be equal to 0 0.000121. So, I get my formula A t equal to A0 e to the power minus lambda, which is 0 0.000121. So, I get T equal to minus 1 by 0 0.000121 ln A T divided by A 0. So, this is now my formula. So, in that formula 1 by 0 0.000121 ln A t by A 0, I have the information that contains 92 and 93 percent. So, they gave you an approximate value. So, what is my T 1? So, if I substitute minus 1 by 0 0.000121 ln this is 0 0.92 and that will approximately give me 689 years and if I put the value log of 0 0.93 that will be approximately giving me 600 years. So, they were authorized in 1988. So, if I write 1988 minus 689 that gives me 1299 and 1988 minus 600 
gives me 1380. So, they give that, okay, the shroud of Turin, it is between 1299 to 1388 AD. So, that is how we calculate uh, using mathematical model and this technique of carbon dating to approximately find the age of a particular uh, fossil or relic. In this case, it was Shroud of Turin. So, with that we come to the end of this lecture about the mathematical model of this carbon dating. In the next uh, lecture, we will take up some very interesting models. Till then, 